children up until three years old, the mothers and the pregnant ladies and those responsible with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I invite you all to close your eyes so we can begin this moment of praise to the Lord with the prayer. Lord, we plead by the blood of Jesus, asking you, God, for your presence. We ask you at this moment for fellowship. Clean our hearts. And may your grace and your love be poured out over all of your children. In the name of Jesus, amen. We're going to now sing a song that says, How Amazing is the Love of God. How amazing, how amazing, how amazing is the love of God revealed on Calvary. Jesus died for us. How amazing it is to announce this love for you that are here today. Come see it. Come receive it and the joy will overflow your soul. How amazing, how amazing, how amazing is salvation. We will not die, yes we will be, eternally with our God. Eternally with our God. I invite you all to sing with me the song that says, Come Join a People. Come join a people who know the way to eternity, where the prophecy points to the direction these people follow and reach salvation. Come to the middle, Jesus is here. Dive in these waters of salvation. These waters heal, in the new creation you will be. For the praise of God. join a people who know the way to eternity, where the prophecy points to the direction these people follow and reach salvation. Come to the middle, Jesus is here. Dive in these waters of salvation. These waters heal in the new creation you will be. For the praise of God. And now, we're going to learn a story from the Bible. We're going to learn about the Word of God. The theme of today's class is the healing of the blind man Bartimaeus. And we're going to read a text in the Bible. In Mark chapter 10, verse 49. And this is what the word of God says. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good cheer, rise, he is calling you. Children, Jesus was passing through the city of Jericho. And many people were following Jesus. In that city, there was a blind man known as Bartimaeus who sat by the road. A blind person is someone that can't see. They don't see light. They see everything dark. Bartimaeus, he sat there upset. He sat by the road begging, asking for help. When he heard that Jesus was passing by, he started to scream, Jesus, son of David, 
have mercy on me. The people asked him to be quiet. They asked him to stop talking, but Bartimaeus did not give up. He screamed even louder, Jesus, have mercy on me. And Jesus heard his plead. Because Jesus, he hears the plead of those that ask him, the needy person that searches and uh, looks for him with all his heart. So Jesus asked them to call Bartimaeus. And he asked, Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? And Bartimaeus said to Jesus, I want to see. And Jesus said, then see, your faith has made you well. Your faith has saved, me, saved you. And look what happened at that moment. A miracle happened. Look at the heart of Bartimaeus. Jesus operated a miracle. His eyes opened up. And he was able to see light. He was able to see Jesus. He was healed. And he also received salvation. Jesus changed his heart. He took off out the sadness and he gave him joy. And this is salvation. When Jesus changes our hearts. Jesus, he's amazing. Jesus is our savior. He gives us salvation, and he takes us to eternity to live with him. And you, children, when you have a, a necessity, a need, you can pray. You can plead to the Lord, and God will hear your prayer. And he will operate great blessings like he operated in the life of Bartimaeus. Jesus, he's amazing. Jesus He's our Savior. And now, a word to the mothers and those responsible to, for our children. Sisters, brothers, the same operation that Jesus did here on earth, we can see inside the churches, inside our homes. And through the action of the Holy Spirit, we see the signs and wonders of Jesus in our lives and in our families. We must bring our children to seek a blessing, to ask for help to the Lord Jesus. The only person, the only, only one that can give us a solution to our problems. Let's bring our children to love and to honor Jesus. Because he is the only Savior. He is the only one that can transform our hearts and give us the right to eternal life. And now, I invite you all, mothers and those responsible, to end our class proclaiming with our children that Jesus is our Savior. You mothers are going to look at your children and tell them, Jesus is my Savior. Your baby that is sitting in your lap, look at him and proclaim this truth. And I invite you all children to see with your say with your mothers that Jesus is our Savior. And when we say this, when we proclaim this in our homes, that Jesus is our Savior, the presence of Jesus is going to fill our homes. It's going to fill our hearts with peace, with healing, with fellowship. Let's say it together. I'll say it here, and you say it there. Let's say it all together. Jesus is my Savior. One more time. Jesus is my Savior. Hallelujah. And now, we're going to end this class singing a song, Jesus Heals and Saves. Jesus Heals and Saves. Jesus is my Savior. Jesus is my friend. And he is my redeemer. When I am sick, he heals. When I am sad, peace comes and reigns. When I am sick, he heals. When I am sad, he 
peace comes and reigns. Jesus is strength and hope. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Jesus is strength and hope. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Now let's all close our eyes so we can pray, ending our class. Lord, we glorify you because you're our Savior. You're our God. We praise you because we, found, we find answers in you. We adore you, our God, O oh God, because our children, when they will grow up knowing this truth, that there is no other salvation other than in Jesus Christ. Bless each family. Bless the mothers and the children so we may all grow fearing and knowing Jesus. We pray, ending this class and glorifying you for everything in the name of Jesus, amen. Children, the peace of the Lord Jesus and we'll be waiting for you in our next class.